As you guys can see, we are playing the real Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles on Android. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the new best method to play Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles game on your Android devices. As you guys know, Demon Slayer's latest Hashira training arc season has just released, and after watching the first episode of that season, I really wanted to play Demon Slayer game on my Android device. And the best method to do so is going to be simply with an active internet connection. The minimum requirements will be only Android version 10 or above. Above. We won't be using any emulators to run this game because emulators require a very high end Android device. So, this method will work even on low end Android devices. Let's get started. First of all, just go ahead and open Play Store and search for the app that I'm about to tell you guys. So, right here, you'll be able to see Joysack, which is one of the best and easiest cloud gaming apps to use to play games like Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles on Android. I'll be showing you guys how it works. It does not have any queue system. It also gives you daily login time, I guess around 20 minutes. So, obviously, you can play it pretty easily with no issues whatsoever so once you have added this app on your android device just go ahead and open it after you open it you will see a lot of games like grand theft auto 5 god of war 4 ww2k20 but if you go to the anime section you guys will be able to see games like naruto shippuden demon slayer hinokami chronicles dragon ball z aot one piece jump force and many more so basically this is one of the best cloud gaming apps to play a lot of anime games on your android device it even has one piece odyssey that's pretty amazing title no other cloud gaming app has one piece odyssey nonetheless we'll just go ahead and tap on the demon slayer hinokami chronicles because that's what we want to play for today's video but once you tap on the play button it will ask you to log in into joysack cloud gaming so you can log in pretty easily just go ahead and tap on this option uh, after you tick mark it just go ahead and log in after you guys log in for the first time you will be able to see that we get daily gift 5 to 30 minutes of random reward and 10 minutes of daily time guaranteed for that just go ahead and tap on this option and it will say you have signed in today once that has been done just go ahead and tap on the cross button go to you section you will be able to see we just got like 15 minutes of game time pretty easily and the next steps are pretty simple just go ahead and tap on the game afterwards it will check your network now i'll be showing you guys the best settings for joystick cloud gaming so you get the lowest amount of ms so right here you will be able to see the ms if you choose asian region you will get around 46 ms if you choose american region you will get around 39 ms i'll go with asian region though there we go it says it's your turn the queue is over and it's now your turn to enter so just go ahead and tap on the confirm button as you guys just saw the queue is very short it starts the game instantaneously and if we just go ahead and tap on the settings icon you will be able to see a lot of information such as the remaining time and also controller option this cloud gaming even provides you with save data features so you can save your game state if you want to play it again and again so you also have some subscription that you can take a look at nonetheless you will be able to see that our demon slayer hinokami chronicles game is about to start on the joysack cloud gaming app so let's find out the moment of truth how well will it work there we go aniplex i'll just go ahead and tap on the a button all right demon slayer hinokami chronicles has successfully started and if you guys might be able to hear then the audio output is also working properly you won't face any issues while playing this game on your android device and as we are not using any kind of emulators the gameplay will be at straight up 30 to 60 fps you won't face any lagging issues but the only problem is that you can only play up to 15 minutes per day without a subscription but none of the other cloud gaming apps even provide you with such amount of game time that too without any queue system nonetheless we'll just go ahead and hold the b button to skip the cutscenes and we'll find out and we'll see tanjiro fighting with this guy you'll be able to see it's very high graphics and it works flawlessly it is literally the original demon slayer game that is created for consoles and pc but we are literally playing it on our android devices that's how simple it is so i'll just go ahead and skip this cutscene as well because we want to start playing this game asap there we go we get some control layouts i'll just go ahead and tap on the close button and we'll be able to play this game flawlessly on our android devices at straight up 30 to 60 fps so guys be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this method of playing demon slayer hinokami chronicles on android without actually using any kind of emulators so this method works on all low end android devices and everyone will be able to enjoy this game so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video though i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye